discuss about the, the transportation or okay, circulatory system in tenth class badge. So before go, okay, enter into that lesson, just we need some of points to discuss about the, the circulation of these materials. So all okay, so which are they? So in the first one, so all the living organisms need so which so kinds of nutrients from first lesson and kinds of gases from second lesson. And so, okay, we need some fluids as every day. So we drink now. So these fluids is yes. so these three. Okay, these three. So which are the so nutrients, fluids, and gases? Okay, so transport to okay to every cells of our body. So there is a okay there is need one of way to transport to every cell. That is why so essentially we needed as what's a one of the way. So it is what's a circulatory system. So in that circulatory system, we are find out so many three parts. So which are they? So in that first one is blood. Second one is blood vessels. Third one is heart. So in that first one is what's a blood. So actually, so about the blood. So we learned in the previous class, in ninth class, what is mean blood? So blood is fluid. It is connective tissue. So what is the help of the blood to us? So it is give us what connection between the group of organs. Okay. So I next. Sir, so it is appear. So red in color. Why? Why? Because okay, due to the presence of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. And so, what is the main role of okay? So hemoglobin. So let's see. Okay. So so in that a few minutes we we'll discuss about it. And next, sir. So approximately five to six liters. Sir, the blood is present in a person. So this is blood. Next is what, sir? Blood vessels. Blood vessels. Actually, blood vessels, sir. These are tubes. Sir. These are tubes. Sir. Okay. Sir, how many? One. Okay. How many kinds of tubes are there? So in a human body, sir, three. Three. Okay. Blood vessels are there. Which are the first one is arteries. Second one is veins. Third one is blood capillaries. Blood capillaries. And the first one arteries, sir. Actually, what, sir? What is mean arteries, sir? Okay, so thick, rich vessels are there. Okay, in the human, so these called arteries. Their functions, so they are okay. So these originated from art and supplies and some pumping the blood to every part of our body from the part of heart. And second one is veins. So these are okay. These okay. So veins. So what? What is the function? So these are so carrying the blood from all the body parts and supplies to heart for why? To purification. Okay, with the help of the oxygen and to transport every cells. That is why. So these collecting deoxygenated blood from every part of our body. So which are the veins. Third one is blood capillaries. Blood capillaries. So fine and thread. Okay, fine threads and small tubes are there. So in the body of humans, these called blood capillaries. Where are these? Yes. So end of the. So end of the arteries and beginning of the veins. So there is fine tubes or small tubes are there, sir. So these called blood capillaries. Blood capillaries. This is third one. Okay. So what is this? Okay. So what is the function of these tubes, sir? To transport the blood to every cells of our body from heart. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about the human heart. So human heart is called pumping station. Sir, it is called what, sir? Pumping station. Why we call it is it as pumping station? Because of through that only the blood is the blood is flows to every cells of our body. That is why we call here it is known as what, sir? Pumping station. Next, sir. C1, sir. So okay, sir. Human heart is located. Human heart is located. Okay, is located between the portion of pair of lungs, sir, at the left side of the chest cavity. And protected by rib cages, rib cages. Okay, this is external features of human heart. Okay, and next, sir, internal features of human heart, sir. So next, sir. So let's we are going to discuss about the internal features of human heart. So how we discuss, sir, with the help of this uh, diagram. Sir, when we okay, this, okay, when we look the okay diagram of human heart, sir. So we are find out, sir, what sir, there is four chambers. There is four chambers. Means human heart is divided by divided into two, four chambers by grooves by grooves. So, so in that, so upper chambers, two chambers are okay. Upper part of the heart, so they are called what sir auricles, and lower chambers of the heart is called what sir ventricles. 
Okay, the human heart is divided by, sir, divided into four, okay, sir, four chambers by grooves, which are the arteries, two arteries and uh, two ventricles, upper chambers are known as two arteries, okay, so two articles and uh, lower chambers are known as two ventricles, and next, sir, so when we absorb at the right side of the heart, sir, there is two chambers, which is the, okay, sir, upper chamber is what, sir, right, uh, <coughs> right atrium and left chamber is what sir right ventricle and when okay when we absorb at the left side of the heart okay there is two chambers sir uh, at the uh, upper part of the okay it's at the uh, side of the at the uh, uh, left side of the heart sir there is upper chamber it is called what sir left atrium and uh, so right part of that uh, okay left atrium there is a chamber it is what sir left ventricle so these two chambers and next sir how these okay sir how the blood is flows through the part of the heart. So let's are going to discuss about it. See once here. Sir, so this is what sir. What is this? Okay, right chamber. In the right side of the heart, there is two chambers now. So which is that right atrium and a right ventricle. Okay, into that right atrium, sir. Into that right atrium, sir. Two veins are opens. Two kinds of veins are opens, which are this, sir. Sir, in okay, superior vena cava and uh, inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava and uh, inferior vena cava. Sir, through that superior vena cava, okay, so it is collects the blood from upper part of the upper parts of our body and sends it to, okay, sends it to right uh, atrium. And uh, through that inferior vena cava collects, sir. So, what, sir? Uh, okay, so blood from the lower part of our body. And okay, sends into where sir? Into right uh, atrium. Okay, so through these three, okay, through these uh, uh, okay, two wings, superior and inferior vena cava, deoxygenated blood is flows again okay, into the part of the into the part of the right uh, atrium. Okay, through okay. So when the blood is okay, reaches to the part of the right atrium, so that is okay, opens into it is opens into which is that right atrium is opens into okay right uh, ventricle okay through the one of septum so what is the septum sir right okay auricular okay auricular and ventricular septum okay sir so the, both of these separated by this uh, septum at this septum we find out okay one kind of the wall so which, which is it sir tri capsida valve tri capsida valve okay so next <coughs> So when you absorb, so what sir, the part of the right ventricle, so there is a one of, there is a one of, what sir, artery, so it is called what sir, pulmonary artery, okay, the region of the pulmonary artery, there is a one of, one kind of the wall, so what is it sir, pulmonary wall, next, sir, pulmonary artery is originated from the right ventricle and opens into pair of lungs, pair of lungs, yes, so next, sir, so then after sir, sir, from the, okay, <coughs> And uh, now we are going to absorb the part of the heart, okay, at the uh, right uh, region of the heart, sir. So there is two chambers now, okay, which, are, okay, which is it, sir? Left uh, atrium and uh, left uh, ventricle, left uh, atrium, okay, so atrium and uh, left uh, ventricle, sir. So next, uh, from the pair of lungs, sir, okay, so there is a tube, sir, small tube, which is a pulmonary vein. It gives connection between these, okay, lungs and uh, left uh, atrium. Okay, and its function what sir collects uh, oxygenated blood. Why? Because so many okay, one of reason is there. So next sir, this is small chamber, which is that? Which is it? See, once this is right, okay, left uh, atrium is opens into left ventricle. Okay, so both of these are separated, sir. Left atrium and uh, left ventricle is separated by one of septum, which is its uh, left uh, auricular and ventricular septum. At this septum, there is one of wall, which is it? Bicapsida valve. Bicapsida valve. Through that, the blood is flows. Okay. From right uh, at, okay, left atrium to left uh, ventricle. Okay. So, next, uh, so, okay. So, when the blood is, okay, which is the part of the, okay, right, uh, uh, okay, ventricle, uh, so, sorry. So, left uh, ventricle, sir. So, the blood is flows to every part of our body. So, because of there is one of okay largest artery takes place originated or takes place in the part of the okay left uh, ventricle it is called what sir systemic aorta systemic aorta at the region of the systemic aorta there is a valve there is a one of valve it is called what sir systemic valve through that valve the blood is 
okay supplies every part of our body with the oxygen what's that with the oxygen okay so that is why so this is what's that main artery which is it systemic aorta so next see ones so when the when the blood is carries by these two things superior and inferior vena cava so there is no oxygen there is no oxygen so this is okay so this blood is what's a deoxygenated blood so through these veins deoxygenated blood is okay so deoxygenated blood is is a transportation from all the body parts towards to the heart okay through these two things okay inferior and superior vena cava deoxygenated blood is okay which is to the part of the right uh, atrium so from here it is flows okay deoxygenated blood is flows into the part of the right uh, ventricle so through that uh, tricuspid wall so there is a pulmonary artery actually what is the duty of the artery so actually so all the arteries carry uh, oxygenated blood and supplies to every part of our body except the pulmonary artery why why because there is a one of reason because of it is carries only deoxygenated blood from from right the uh, ventricle and supplies to where sir to okay pair of lungs provide why because to elimination to remove the the uh, carbon dioxide and combined with the oxygen how sir oxy hemoglobin when the oxygen is combined with the hemoglobin it is oxy hemoglobin okay so that this blood is what sir okay sir oxygenated blood that oxygen blood okay so it supplies towards to the okay where into where sir left atrium through the part of the pulmonary vein yeah no doubt one of the point actually what is the function of the veins sir all kinds of veins Takes only the oxygenated blood from all the body parts and forward, okay, and transports to, okay, human heart. But except only pulmonary vein, just it is collects only oxygenated blood and supplies into the part of the vessel, okay. So left, okay, vessel, left atrium. From there is, okay, through that bicuspid wall, sir. So through that bicuspid wall, the okay, oxygen blood is okay supplies into the part of the left ventricle. Okay, when the blood is okay, it is here. So the blood is flows. Okay, sir. See the okay, friends. So there is one topic, cardiac cycle. So there are two parts there, there no? Okay, what? Systole and diastole. Sir, active phase. Okay, sir, systole is active phase. Diastole is uh, rela okay, relaxation phase. Through these two phases, sir. See, when there is one of definition. What, sir? Di okay. Cardiac cycle. What is mean cardiac cycle? Sir, one contraction and relaxation phase of atrium and ventricle. Okay, it's known as cardiac cycle. So means uh, for okay for your circulation, sir. So these four chambers involves in two processes: contraction and uh, relaxation. Okay, by these uh, two okay processes, sir, the blood is flows out, which is it? Oxygen blood. Okay, it flows out to every part of our body through the okay okay with help of where, sir, largest okay oh aorta. It is what sir <coughs> systemic aorta. So next, so after this, C ones, so many. Actually, so this is only one of answer. Respect the structure of human or the help of the diagram. But depend on this, many questions are there, which are the differences between the arteries and veins, systole and diastole, and extra. So what is mean single circulation, double circulation? Actually, what is mean single and double circulation? Sir, so first one is single circulation. If the blood is flows once only through heart, it is called single circulation. The best example features. Means uh, for single circulation, once okay, once uh, the blood is flows into hits a uh, heart, it is single circulation. So next is double circulation. What do you mean double circulation? Sir, if the blood is flows twice for a single okay for a circulation, sir, through heart, okay, it is called double circulation. Example, human heart because of uh, events. Once the blood is enters into heart, later it is okay flows out into the heart. Uh, okay, so pair of lungs provide to for oxidation. That is why. At least okay, two times the blood is flows okay through the heart. So so this is called what sir double circulation. The best example what sir human heart. This is okay. So next uh, BP. So blood pressure. Sir what sir blood pressure. See friends, what is the normal blood pressure in that humans? One twenty by eighty. One twenty by eighty. In that okay, one twenty is the systole. Eighty is a diastole. Means uh, sir why? So there is huge number. So in that. Uh, be okay so what's a systol because of okay one of reason sir it is active phase it is active phase means sir the body is pushing into the dark from one part to 
to next okay so next chamber sir that is why it is active phase next diastole so it is a relaxation phase so means it so that is why so the its number is uh, less whenever comparing the diastole this is what sir so difference is between the uh, systole and the uh, diastole so next is uh, c wise <coughs> this is cardiac cycle is finished okay so next uh, difference is between the arteries and uh, so means next uh, so one topic is the coagulation of blood coagulation of blood so we know sometimes uh, each and every human beings affected are suffering with accidents in their what will happen so so from their body the blood is flows out through their injuries okay sir see ones okay so there is one of chance in 3 to 6 minutes sir so in 3 to 6 minutes the blood is clot okay so in that accidents but there is a one of problem so what will, what will happen see ones so due to the deficiency of vitamin k vitamin k philopenine due to the deficiency of this vitamin so okay so the blood is does not clot okay in that uh, some persons who are suffering with the uh, accidents so it is okay so this uh, is one of the disease so it is what's it okay okay so hemophilia hemophilia so what is coagulation of blood so there is one of chance sir so what the see see children so before okay so we enter into this lesson so three kind of cells are there no what are so red blood cells white blood cells and blood platelets yes what platelets what it's a duty so platelets helps in that uh, okay so clotting of the blood after that injuries in your person so here so when your person is going in that accident so so these platelets release out one of enzyme so in that uh, blood in the blood so it, which is its uh, thrombokinase thrombokinase it is okay atom where sir fibrinogen fibro okay so it is atom prothrombin sir prothrombin is converting into thrombin prothrombin is converting into thrombin so next uh, thrombin is converting into okay fibrinogen fibrinogen so then after sir fibrinogen is gives out okay one kind of form it is what sir fibrin fibrin means uh, thread sir thread is formation around the wounds around the wounds after the releasing of this uh, so enzyme thrombo kinase enzyme so from where this enzyme is releasing out sir by the okay or with help of the blood platelets okay so within the uh, human beings okay so all these uh, so which are the so difference between the arteries and veins uh, describe the structure of human heart with help of the diagram and it's what is the importance of the transportation system and it's what's the systole and diastole differences so and it's what's the coagulation of the blood how do how you explain about the cardiac cycle and it's uh, okay okay so these uh, questions are depend on okay so this is explanation so thank you for all